Hey, I'm George from BluefishToys.com. We do reviews on electronic toys. Today we're going to be looking at the Hexbug's new product called the Nano V2. It basically replaces the Hexbug of yesteryear that if you saw those over the last few years sold at lots of places like the Source and Radio Shack. They were kind of a fun little bug. They were a great little stocking stuffer. You turn them on and they would just, there was no stopping. They would run around the ground um, by simply vibrating their little legs. And you could put them in the tub, on the floor, on a table. And they were quite a blast to watch. One of the things I noticed right off the bat with the V2 version is that it, down here in the corner it says they can climb. How it does that, I don't know. Certainly the lake configuration is different from last year's. And we'll take a look what it does. They're, they come in different colors. I've got a blue in here and I've got a yellow in here and they come in about six or seven different colors with your choice or get a bunch of them and watch them all run around with the kids. They're a great little stocking stuffer and uh, in a few minutes we'll see what it does. Cool. Okay, here's a little hex bug out of his package. It was pretty easy. Just pull the end off. It has instructions. You know, as usual, I don't open them and look at them. He's got a little button on the bottom that turns them on and off. And all they do is they vibrate, and the way their little legs are designed, it makes them, it propels them forward. He's got a set of legs on, on top as well, so we're going to have to get him going and try him with some different surfaces and see what he does. And we'll fire up the other one too and let them dance around together a little bit. So let's turn him on. He starts vibrating immediately. <laughs> there he goes, all over the table. Yeah. This is on... Cloth. They don't do too well on cloth. They think they like they like um, very flat, polished surfaces from the go on. <laughs> Where'd he go? Oh, here he comes! He came out. Oh, oh, didn't like that one too much. I don't call that climbing. If anything, it seems like they don't want to climb. Yeah. Boom! So they do climb, and this is the this is the box they come in. So these boxes actually, let me turn this off for a second. These boxes have these ends, and these ends are actually meant to connect two boxes together. So you can put there's the box, put the other one there, and you can get curved pieces and everything else. And we'll do that in another video. But take that apart for now. Fire up our little hex bug, turn them on, put them in there, watch this. Off he goes, they just climb. So what is it about that container that it can climb? Because it's got, he's got the little legs in the back yeah. and on the bottom. Yeah. And when you put them in there, those are those work together. Like that. Oh, so it can climb, but only in that case. Yeah, only in that case. He's got to be able to get some, you need to be able to walk up from the front and the back at the same okay. time. Yeah, because we tried making him climb. Probably go down too. Yeah, no. down. The Nano V2 hex bugs, they, are, um, they work pretty good. One thing you have to be aware of, and we cover this in our review online, is that it says that they can climb. And it, it might throw you a little bit thinking they can climb up walls or even climb up inclines. That's not what they do. What they do is they come packaged in this little plastic cylinder like that. And the cool thing about it is you put them in a cylinder this way, that way, whatever you like, and they will climb up the cylinder. You can get other kits from Nano and the Hexbug company and that actually connects all these together and they all have they have signed a little circuses and so forth that you can run these through the little paces and you get a whole bunch of them going. It's quite the uh, the blast watching them all zoom around and do their things and climbing up the walls and everything else. They're climbing up these little tubes and all those kinds of things. Very simple, they're kind of fun to watch and they'll you know they'll much like the Robofish toys that we do in another review, more than one is better. One by itself is kind of interesting. Having several together interacting and bouncing off each other and zooming around 
is that much more fun, I gotta say. So I would, if you can, you know, if you get spare the change to buy more than one, I would buy more than one. At least two, maybe three or four is, is always a blast. If you want to read more about what we did for this test, you can look at our online review at bluefishtoys.com. If, you, if you've got one or two and you've got some comments and things that you found or you like or don't like about it, you can leave comments. We even give you a place you can do your own mini review. And, um, and you can see what other people have written about it as well. I'm George. I'm with bluefishtoys.com and re-review electronic toys.